Hello and welcome to another quick tips video here. In this video I'm going to be briefly looking at some road markings. So let's start off with the broken white line here. And in actual fact there's two types of broken white lines. We have this one here which is a longer broken white line and this one down here then where there's more of a gap between each white line. So you can overtake on both, you can cross both if it's safe to do so, but you have to be extra careful here and the longer white line because there could be danger ahead like reduced visibility or a hazard ahead. Um, so you can cross both but just be extra careful here just in case of danger ahead. Um, another road marking you'll see here then is the white triangle. Now this means that you have to give way to any traffic on the major road ahead or if it's roundabout give way to any traffic on the right or already turning. So the white triangle basically means yield. And we have some more road markings here. So first and foremost we have the yellow box. So you're not allowed to stop or park or block the yellow box. The only exception is if you're taking a right turn. So you can come up and wait in the yellow box for oncoming traffic while you're waiting to turn right. But don't stop or block the yellow box unless you're turning right. Here we have a cycle bay. So that means that drivers have an advanced stop line here and drivers must stop and allow the cyclists to position themselves in front of the drivers and that's an area that cyclists can wait in while waiting to pull off at lights for example. We also have some double yellow lines here which means no parking at any time and if it's a single yellow line here that means no parking during business hours or during the time shown on the sign if there is a sign there. In this picture here you will see the white zigzag lines clearly marked out before the pedestrian crossing here and here as well. So the white zigzag lines mean that you're approaching the pedestrian crossing and you're not allowed to park or overtake. So no parking, no overtaking in the areas marked out by the white zigzag lines. And if you were to see yellow zigzag lines that would mean that you're approaching or outside of a school or a fire station. So we have a number of road markings here. Um, let's start with the continuous white line. So that means you're not allowed to cross or pass the continuous white line unless for access or in an emergency of some kind, but no overtaking, no passing on the continuous white line. Here you would obey the line closest to you. So the blue car could cross if it's safe because he's got a broken white line nearest him and the red car should not cross or overtake because he's got the continuous white line closest to him. Then down here we have some yellow lines. So the broken yellow line on the left indicates the hard shoulder or the edge of the road. So on the hard shoulder if it's a broken yellow line it's generally used by pedestrians and cyclists and cars can come in there to let faster vehicles overtake but only if it's safe and only if they can see clearly a long distance ahead to safely do so. The continuous yellow line here would normally be found on a motorway or certain other roads where it's dangerous um, to stop. So this also marks the edge of the road um, but there, you're not allowed to park or to stop to the left of the solid yellow line unless of course in an emergency or if a Garda instructs you to do so. And then we have some hatch lines here. So the hatch lines are diagonal white lines surrounded by a solid white line in this example. So the hatch lines um, make the road a little bit wider in a way because they increase the um, middle zone so that the red car and the blue car pass each other by with a greater distance in the middle. So it's there to separate traffic. As you can see over here hatch lines help as well with a right turn. So the red car here if you can see it is positioning himself in the right lane there and the hatch lines help create a right lane there. So you're not allowed to enter the hatched area if it's surrounded by a continuous white line. You could enter the hatched lines if it's surrounded by a broken white line, um, but generally you're not allowed to cross the hatched lines. Um, if the, in this situation here, if this lane was totally full up and you didn't want to hold any traffic up from behind, you could enter the hatched lines then, but that would only be as a last resort because it is a continuous white line surrounding the hatch lines there. So that's the purpose of the white hatch lines. They are there to separate traffic and to help, in some cases, with a car taking a right turn. And finally, let's talk about cycle lanes. 
So as you can see here, this cycle lane is marked out with a broken white line. So you must not drive or park in that unless it is unavoidable. Like maybe you're avoiding an obstruction or perhaps you are taking a left turn or something like that. And if the cycle lane has a continuous white line, you must not park and you must not drive on that unless it's a genuine emergency. Okay, so that's it for this quick tips video. Thank you very much for watching. Up on screen there you will see some other videos that I've made recently, kind of related to this topic. One is on um, some of the questions you might face, theory questions that is, and the other is on some of the more common road signs. So if you enjoyed this video, you will also get some benefit out of those videos as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos just like this. Thanks again and I will see you very soon for another video.